we're back. And uh, like promised, here's Spider-Man's version. All right. Um, we're going to make a part three because we're going to do the background and we're going to color. I know, I know. You're like, wow, there's such a treat. What is it, Christmas time? I don't know, man. But uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. And if you like this video, share this video. And if you have any recommendations, please comment. I don't know unless you comment. And like I said, man, whatever you need me to draw, let's get into it. So without further ado, let's do Spider-Man. So to talk a little bit about uh, Spawn and Todd McFarlane, right? And um, I, guess, I guess why Spawn is such a great character in my eyes is because Todd McFarlane, he had an interview. And I remember this when I was like 16, I want to say 16, 15 years old. And it might have been when I was littler, like maybe 14 or... Uh, anyway, the point is, I was watching the interview and they asked him, why did you make Spawn black? And he said something that I'll never forget. He goes, when you look at some, like, if you look at, like, Spider-Man, and you look at uh, all these other Cape Crusaders that have their masks on, you already assume that they're white. You already know that, that they're white, you know? So I want to do something different. I don't want to be, like, the same person that's doing the same thing. And it's not so much of him saying that he made spawn black that, uh, stood out to me. It's, it's him taking the initiative to do something different that not a lot of people want to do because they're scared to, that maybe it would have failed. Maybe it wouldn't have went anywhere. Right. But for him to decide to say, Hey, you know what? I'm taking the path least, uh, traveled. And I guess that's why I really respect Todd McFarlane, you know, and it stuck with me through all these years. And to me, it's not about the color of the superhero or the color of the character that he uh, was getting into. It was just the ideology behind it where let me do something different and make people think, you know, like when they look at a character, you know, when they look at Spawn, they don't just think of like uh, uh, a black mercenary or an ex-mercenary. Nah, this guy's burnt. He's, you know, he's been in the depths of hell. Uh you know, he's been mutilated. So, I mean, like, it's uh, it's just there's so much going on that Todd McFarlane decided that he wanted his character to be different. And, you know, in a way, I know when you see a lot of his, you know, you may look at the helmet and you or the, the mask and say, hey, you know, that's, that's a Venom part because you get to see the eyes, right? Or the way that he draws the chains or something. Oh, that's Spider-Man's webs or whatever. But you have to remember Todd McFarlane drew Spider-Man a long time before, uh, before spawn. But the whole thing that I'm trying to relay to you is that if you don't do something different, if you do not stand out, then you're just going to be another apple in the barrel. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you want to have something that's going to stick out. So he left his mark you know, in, in history, in the comic book world. I mean, he's a very, very, very smart individual. And I, and that's why Stan Lee, you know, when, when Stan Lee wrote a lot of the characters and he designed a lot of characters, he thought outside the box too. And that's what to be successful is Jim Lee, uh, Eric Larson, and just a little side note of Spider-Man. Eric Larson is incredible when it comes to Venom. He probably made the Venom that is, uh, to me, the most scariest, you know, he, the way that he made the face, the way that it opened, I mean, Eric Larson is just an incredible detailed orientated, uh, individual. Uh, I can't say enough about him. Um, very, very, very good. Um, the same thing with Savage Dragon. So, you know, this Spider-Man, you could see a lot of resemblance because this is Todd McFarlane. Um, you know, the, the, this is what he used to do before he did spawn. You know, and now I guess he does like guest appearances, maybe like he'll, he'll draw, he'll be like a guest artist. Um, but anyway, the point is, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, think outside the box and the moral of the story is don't be like everybody else. So, and never 
never be afraid to go out of your comfort zone because if you're always trying to do something, you'll never know what you can achieve. You never know your limits, you know, and unless you try it. So enjoy the video. Thank you. I hope to see you at the end.
that's how you draw the spider man I'm going to I am going to um, color everything in but that's going to be another video and then from there uh, we're going to go to another one all right so thank you